Hello everybody, Roscoe here and welcome back to Democracy 3 and we're playing as the UK National Party, Unity Party even and this is, uh, yeah this is, this is pretty hard <laughs> so we've got a big massive kind of crisis going on, we have a debt crisis which is feeding into the capitalists, the self-employed, the middle income and everyone else and it's also affecting the GDP and the middle earnings, so yeah that is, it's a big one, and not, uh, not only that, we've got the ghettos, we've got the crime, we've got these vigilante gangs, we've got fucking street gangs, we've got a massive alcohol abuse going on, we have a uh, asthma epidemic, we've got a housing problem, homelessness, uh, we've got uncompetitive economy, uh, pollution, and we're a technological backwater, so yeah, everything, all of those plates, all getting spin, Things are falling off and clattering all over the place, and what we're trying to do is just get by for another term. <coughs> and not only that, to top it off, we also have these guys that are, they're actually going down, membership's going down. I think that's because people have got bigger fish to fry. So what we need to start doing is really, 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 really starting to get rid of this uh, debt crisis. It is really screwing us right over, so I'm going to have to put in a big massive boomph into that, and I'm feeling... I don't know how we're going to do it, because everything costs money and you need to make money other ways, it's just, uh, you're, you're filling that jug, out, taking water out of that jug and putting it into that jug, and then people are saying, no, there's not enough water in that jug, so, so we'll just go through these and see what's more popular with people, see if there's anything we can squeeze some money out of, get a space program, really? Invest your country's efforts into explore space, as well as the purely scientific benefits. A well-funded space program will boost level technological expertise through the entire economy. It will also unite the country and encourage patronism. Or we could get these small business grants. Everything costs money, and that seems to be the big problem here. I'm doing, wait, hang on, this one sounds good. Rural development costs. It's pretty, pretty cheap, even on the lowest. As technologically, technology advances, the more and more and more citizens take jobs in our cities, there is a danger that poverty and unemployment will rise to unacceptable levels in the countryside. Rural development grants do distort the free market, but they, are also support, uh, they also support rural businesses and prevent poverty amongst farmers and other rural occupations. 100% people want that in. Cost me 27 to get this bad boy in. So it wants to be worth it. So we're firing that in. Poor earnings, happy. Or is that poor earnings? Up more? Fuck knows. Let's see. If I put that down to low, poor earnings goes down. Unemployment stays the same. Farmers up. GDP up. Seems good across the board, doesn't it? Even if I put that on maximum. Costs a bit. Take six to thing. Let me just put that on. We'll put that on. Don't it's medium. Only costs us one point two, which is norm. Right. So that's that fired in there. There's nothing else we can do. Yeah. Street gangs, crime, violent crime, water supply. Water supply is good for us. Tobacco tax and the debt crisis all affecting everyone. But I can't see any other way of helping us out here. What about this? Is this coming up yet? It's almost there. One, two, four. It's like there isn't even a point where it's starting to level out. I mean, moving these things up. Unemployment goes down. Poor up. Surely the poor should go down. Do I not want... Yeah, because we're killing off all the fucking poor. That season. But then poor goes up. I don't understand. It's popular with the poor. It's not popular with the capitalists. It's not popular with the wealthy. It's popular with socialist health, retired, and state employees. And I bet it's a whole bunch of other shit in there too. Yeah. Private healthcare. Bang. We don't want private healthcare. Right, look, there's nothing else that we can do on this front anyway now. 
state schools feeding poverty, I free tests feeding poverty, homelessness is feeding, uh, is, uh, poverty is feeding homelessness. And it's a lot of that poverty is so fast it's going at the street gangs. Ethnic minorities. <clears throat> Race Discrimination Act. What's wrong with that? Fucking hell, it's costing me 40 million. Prevent citizens being discriminated against purely on the basis of race. Psh, none. Racial tension. Down. Liberals, ethnic minorities, conservatives, liberalism. I mean, why the fuck would you pay for that? I don't get that. Right, let's advance. Let's see what happens next turn. There's nothing else I can do. I can't afford to do anything. And we have no... F what the fuck is that? Fifth... Philly... Fifth busting? You certainly have standing off for politics. You have been working away in your office for so long now, it's almost time to start the next day's work. Excellent. Our intelligence network has identified a potential serious plot by a number of wealthy industrialists to force to the overthrow the government. The plot seems to be in early stages, and we are not in a position to make arrests yet, but it is clear some act cons uh, capital has considered it desirable to engineer a replacement for the current government. You should be cautious. Wow. Right, everything's levelled out, everything's good. Uncompetitive, uh, uncompetitive economy is now at an end. The early problems of the lack of competitive by our companies has now subsided. Great. Whaling. We've got something wrong with whaling. A resolution was before the government prop uh, proposing the reintroduction of small-scale commercial whaling in Japanese waters. Whale meat is prized local delicacy and commercial whaling would create many jobs. Wow. So we could resume the whaling. Whales consume an enormous amount of fish and may be responsible for a drop in fish catches that affect our economy. Whaling would also provide a welcome boost to our economy. Not every species of whale is endangered and the commercial whaling can go ahead without danger of causing extinction. Or keep the ban in place. Whales are generally accepted to be amongst the most intelligent non-human species on earth. They maintain a crucial position in the aquatic food chain and yet have been hunted close to extinction. Restarting commercial whaling would be incredibly destructive as well as potentially causing a drop in tourism. We should refocus our efforts on whale watching rather than hunting. <coughs> See, my heart of hearts, man, I think whales are, whales are cool, you know what I mean? I like whales, they don't cause me any trouble, I don't eat them, it's not something I want to eat. I'm not a big massive seafood eater, other than the occasional king prawn tempura style from the Japanese restaurant. I can see what's happening, no, there's, there's better ways of getting money, so I'm going to keep the ban in place, I'm not doing that. Budget report still at sea, polls report we're now up 10%. And the opposition party has more members than us. Our intel experts are convinced that a serious terror threat from a mysterious Battenberg group is in fact directly supported by the wealthy powerful corporations. The threat is acute. So how do the fuck do we solve that? Something we'll need to try and figure out. Well, we managed to stabilise most things. The debt crisis certainly fucking feeding the capitalists. I am trying, guys. I am fucking trying. 26 political points. Let me just see how my cabinet's getting on. Is everybody happy? Loyalty. Yeah, everybody's pretty, pretty happy. Apart for a couple at the end. <clears throat> it's just been implemented yet. Almost there. Crime. Sizeable spy agency. Right, people are not really happy with the spy agency. However, I'm wanting. I 
gated communities. A drastic solution to serious street crime and vandalism, gated communities are basically self-policed residential areas. They are popular with the wealthy but often associated with class divide and inequality as only the relatively wealthy can afford to live inside them. As a result, some governments are reluctant to permit their construction. That cost has nothing to do with that, it's smoking. It's not very popular. This skate community is up 51% of my voters. Let's implement it. And I'll leave it as that. We don't gain anything. But it's in there. Let's see if we can help out these capitalists. Does that help to go in there? Gay communities. Where is it? It's like three houses there, that. What does that feed? Equality, crime, wealthy, liberal. Now let's see if we can try and increase these capitalists. Clean energy subsidies. So it pisses off a lot of people. Let's see if we can get that down to the lowest of the low before it goes to none. Let's apply that change. See if we can get these capitalists on side. We've got six points that we can spend. So we've got a look around, look, have a wee look a look. <clears throat> I don't want that. Don't want any of that, or that, or that. Right, let's go for this. See this tele telecommute initiative. Telecommuting or working from home is seen as a desirable because it reduces the pressure on the transport infrastructure and can be an improvement to people's quality of life. It's also welcomed by parents. This policy offers us all the This policy offers tax incentives to companies supporting this option. 100% implemented. Let's get it in. Whack that right down to the lowest, and then we'll just apply that in there, and then we'll see how that bubbles along. Let's click next. Let's see how we get on. Wow. Assassination, you've been a victim of a carefully planned assassination. A highly skilled gunman put a bullet right through your skull using a high-tech sniper rifle when you appeared at an event to open a new school. All the clues led to an assass assassin being hired by a secretive group known as the Battenberg Group. Uh, thought to be controlled by a number of hyper-wealthy capitalists. It seems you let your government get on the wrong side of some very powerful and rich men and you paid the ultimate price. <laughs> Fucking hell. There we go, didn't even get to, didn't even get to six. But uh, yeah, fucking hell, we're doing well there too. Pissed off the wrong people. Let's try to see if we're on that compass there. Anyway, yeah, so if you've enjoyed this episode, um, I know it was pretty shorter, it's shorter than most. But I did say it was going to be a mini-series. I was kind of hoping to get six, but we only got five. Well, you could say four and a quarter. But, uh, yeah. I, I've enjoyed playing this. It was actually a good little sit in here. Um, time we got on with the rest of the recordings of the Unreal World and Combat Mission. But, yeah, I, I would like to return to this. So, if you want to see more of Democracy 3, played by me, then, uh, yeah, get it known. Let me know in the comments box. And if you do want me to do that, let me know who you want me to play. Uh, we'll try our best to go through it. Maybe even try the Americans. See how we get on as America. 
But yeah, that was definitely fun. I did really enjoy that. In any case, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions, like I said, get them in the comments box below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll speak to you all later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.